How to keep track of your money and expenses using a simple Excel tracker that can show you how much you'll have ahead of time. I'll show you how that works. First of all, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor, so don't sue me, bro. I just created this for myself to keep track of my money, my expenses, and helps me budget. And I just want to share that with you so you can keep track of your expenses. Make sure you hit the like button and follow me on Instagram at TigerRodriguez1. So let's get to it. All right, for those of you who already know how to use Excel and know how to use formulas, I'll leave the formulas here so you can got, so you guys could do it real quick. I'll show you guys how to use the tracker first and then I'll show you how to make it or I'll make a separate video on that. So this is what the tracker looks like. For now, I'm using the green to indicate the areas where you can input your information and the orange ones indicate the cells that have formulas and will populate automatically when you input information on the green ones. Over here, I have added all the weeks for 2020 ending on a Friday. So on the first one here, you want to put whatever amount you have in your bank account on Monday. So check your account and whatever the amount was on Monday, put that in here and then we'll start adding your deposits and your expenses and you'll see how the tracker starts to populate everything. I'll be using this example to show you a scenario. We'll be using income of $1,500 every two weeks, your rent, your car payment, utilities, and other expenses. So we're gonna input that into our tracker so you can see how it works. We're gonna say that you had $5,000 on Monday in your account And then you get a paycheck this week of 1500 and this shows you how much you would have after your deposits if you didn't have any expenses that week but now we're going to add your expenses to add your expenses you type equals and then we're going to say you're going to pay your rent and your car payment so we're going to put 700 plus 200 and this is what you're left with. Now, let's say next week you you pay your utility bills, 200, and then the next week you're gonna pay whatever other expenses you have, 300, and you also get another paycheck. So you can see how this starts to populate and you can see what you will have ahead of time so you can make some better decisions. So if you keep your expenses about the same every month, if you do this, and then you have paychecks every two weeks, and you see how it starts to populate. So what, what I'm gonna do to show you is I'm gonna put all the paychecks all the way down to the end of the year. Okay, so I put all the paychecks all the way down to the end of the year. So you can see how much you would have, but obviously you have to put all your expenses first as you go. But let's say that you want to budget for something and maybe like a, a big credit card payment or you wanna buy a, let's say you're buying a vacation package and you wanna go somewhere around June or July, right? You wanna know what that's gonna look like if you buy it right now. So if we put, let's say $2,000 for your vacation package, so we're gonna put equals your rent plus your car plus $2,000 for your vacation package. That's what you're gonna have and then 200 for your bills plus 300 for other expenses. This is what you're left with. If you keep consistent with your expenses, you can see that when you come back from vacation, you'll still be okay, right? So this is how you use that tracker. This is how I use it to keep track of expenses make better decisions and see what it's going to look like in my account. 
all the way to the end of the year or to whatever a specific date that I need to look at. So that's it. It's pretty simple. That's how you use it. Let me know if you like it, if it works for you. Uh, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be making another video on how to create these formulas. It's pretty simple. I'll show you in another video. I'll link it to, to the screen right here. So you can click on it right now. And I'll see you guys later.